Welcome back to LBB. Today we're going to be acting to Andrew Schultz, Sean King is canceling Jesus Christ. Okay. It's the, all this cancel culture, I guess, this, this was just the top the yeah. top of the notch. This was the crumb of the crumb. Jesus. So he was like, this is what I, I came, came back kings. to. Go like, back what to can it. I do from up here, man? Like, I'll, go <laughs> back, I'll go back to heaven. Like, 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 I don't have to come down here for just this. Like, I'll go back. He's like, 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 go send the COVID dad. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're going to hop right into this. Jesus Christ, watch out, because Sean King is coming. This week, transracial oh civil God. rights activist Sean King, or as some of you know him, Talcum X, tried to cancel the most hateful, violent, evil, racist of them all. Jesus? Yeah. Shamrock Obama tried to take down the King of Kings, the white one specifically. Unfortunately for him, he's 2,000 years later, what's commonly referred to as CPT. Pale Sharpton tweeted, the statues of the white European Jesus should come down. They are a form of white supremacy and always have been. First of all, for someone who crucifies white people for a living, I assume he appreciate the imagery. Secondly, he kind of has a point. Certain groups have used Christianity to oppress people, slave traders, the KKK, jewelers. But white Jesus is always a form of white supremacy. Martin Luther Cream, what the fuck are you talking about? Sean says, in the Bible, when Jesus wanted to hide, he went to Egypt, not Denmark. That is true. Probably because Denmark didn't exist, but I think the brilliant revelation <laughs> Thurgood Marshmallow was trying to make is that Thurgood Jesus wasn't name. white. Hey, Sean, no shit. He was from Nazareth, a.k.a. Palestine, a.k.a. future Israel. He looked more like Osama bin Laden than Jared Leto. You know why Jesus had to walk on water? Because the TSA wouldn't let him through. Here's an accurate mock-up of Jesus. He looks like quarantine DJ Khaled. I don't know if that's the son of God, but I know for certain he has white sauce hot sauce. So, Sean is technically white. I mean, right. Europeans did transform the image of Jesus to make him look like he owns a gay cupcake shop. Obviously, he wasn't some bearded, long-haired <laughs> white guy. Whoa, Chris, you spooked me there, is what those girls said. But did they make Jesus uh, white to oppress minorities? No! They did it to convert white people. Turns out, you can get way more followers if the people you represent think you're one of them. You know what I mean, Sean? Now, I know what some of you are thinking. If that's the case, other cultures would have done it too. And you know what? They did. All of them. Jesus gets contextualized by every culture he goes to. Check this out. Here's Asian Jesus looking sad because he'll never live up to his parents' expectations. Here's Ethiopian Jesus taking fashion trips from Nancy Pelosi. Here's Indian Jesus, who's just regular Jesus with four arms. How the fuck did they crucify him? Here's gay Jesus. Yeah, RuPaul. And Ru knows exactly where he got the drag race from. Look. Jesus reflects whatever culture he's in. So Caucus Garvey, I don't understand why you're coming at white Jesus specifically. If anything, white Jesus should be coming to you. You stole his whole business model. Present yourself as a different Garvey race to attract more days. followers. Collect donations with shady accounting and tell everyone that the white guy that raised you isn't your real dad. At least white Jesus had the decency to cover for his mom. Look. Sean, I 100% agree that people have used Jesus to do fucked up shit, but to claim that every white Jesus is white supremacy is just dumb. Real white supremacy is occupying land that isn't yours, segregating it, naming it Chaz. Also, Chaz? That doesn't sound like a socialist utopia. It sounds like a lacrosse player you wouldn't leave around your sister. The first depictions of white Jesus are almost 1800. I wonder if they still, I was thinking about that today. Like, if they, the cops took that down, yeah, just little uh, autonomous zone. That like these little, I don't know, like a little communist group like when he took over in Seattle. So I was wondering if the cops had taken it back yet. I mean, I think they would. Because I know the mayor supports it. I'm like, what are just Americans uh, exercising their rights? I'm like, okay. And it's going to be the cops exercising their duty to shoot them in the fucking face. Uh, yeah. It's time to take that shit back. Yeah, that's enough fun for now. I'm going to take, take that all down. All right, guys. I'm going to take all this yeah. down. Because <laughs> yeah, when they really show up, like I want you to take all this down, it's gonna be like, no, this is hard. I'm gonna be like, okay, and eh, lock and load it. Like, get the tons out. All right, yeah, the hard, hard way. Then. The hard way. <laughs> Years old. No. I said almost 1,800 years old. Go away, Chris. Long before modern race relations even existed. It was so long ago, white people were still enslaving white people. Imagine how shitty that soul food was. I agree. A church in Africa doesn't need some Coachella mushroom dealer Jesus. So how about instead of canceling white Jesus, we make more black Jesus. Instead of destroying the stained glass, we just add more stain. Now look... I'm not going to discredit Sean King completely. He does more for social justice than me. And he actually brings attention to some really important issues. But this one, 
He's doing too much. First of all, who is Snow J. Simpson even talking to? People that don't want to remove Confederate statues are not even going to think about removing white Jesus. It actually works against Black Lives Matter because now the detractors can honestly say, first they'll tear down the Confederates and then they'll tear down Jesus. Secondly, it's confusing. You're comparing images of racist, treasonous people with the epitome of hope, compassion, and love. In this case, it seems like W.E.B. de Blanche wants attention more than he wants change. Listen, Rose Parks, you've dedicated your life to fighting for people's constitutional rights. Freedom of religion is one of those rights. So you should encourage people to worship any version of Jesus they want, even Jewish Jesus. That's just Jesus. You know what this week has been? A massive overcorrection from Chaz Dork's cancel in America to Justin Bieber being falsely accused of sexual assault. The internet mob is swift, brutal, and doesn't give a fuck about the truth if the lie is more interesting. And you know what? That's what we get. We solely communicate through platforms that are built for information, not investigation. I don't see too many memes about context or nuance out there. And how can you even get nuance in 280 characters? How can we expect real conversation and dialogue on an Instagram post? These platforms are great for a lot of things, but they've created a major issue. The speed of allegation is so much faster than the speed of investigation. And don't get me wrong, we should listen to allegations when they come up, but we must also listen to the rebuttal with the same intensity. I mean, we're in a place where people are guilty until proven innocent. And even if they're vindicated, the apology is always much quieter than the accusation. So if you keep canceling people, be careful. Because as soon as you step out of line, they're coming for your ass, and there will be no forgiveness. Lucky for you, Sean. You know who does forgive? White Jesus. Thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> like oh, man. You were slick with that one, man. That was, that was funny. Andy Schultz, man. Hilarious. Right. We've seen y'all been liking them, so. Yeah. Subscribe to the channel if you watch this far into the video. More skits coming soon, by the way. Yeah. So. See you next time. Mm-hmm. Peace. Peace.